Welcome training campers. In today's video, you will learn how to use a Trances Electronic Chart Display and Information System, ECLIS. This is the Trances Navi Sailor 4000, ECLIS Familiarization, Module Number 4. The Navi Sailor 4000, ECLIS Familiarization, Module Number 4 is about the ECLIS sensors. The topic explains the sensors in which the ECLIS displays the vessel's position, speed and course in real time on the chart based on the information received from the navigational sensor. Therefore, thorough knowledge of the management and handling of sensors and interpreting the related alarms is crucial to the safety of navigation. The subtopics included here are the following sensor display and alerts, sensor selection and settings. On the next slide is a short video clip about the Navi Sailor 4000 ECLIS sensors. Sensors. The Ectis displays the vessel position, speed, and course. Sensor Source Basic Data The Primary and Secondary Window And the Course Overground, Speed Overground, Heading, and Speed Through Water Window on the Control Panel display the basic sensor data. Display options. The navigation data can be displayed together with its sensor source in different ways. 1. On the navigator panel, from the multi-panel display. 2. On an additional panel, through the extra window button. 3. On the left sidebar for conning information. 2. Time Zone The time zone is displayed in the control panel. Use the clock button for switching to the ship's time. Wind The wind sensor provides data about the wind speed and direction. Wind information can be displayed in four ways. 1. On system information. True and relative wind. 2. On the left sidebar. True and relative wind. 3. Wind vector on the route monitoring tab in the monitoring panel. 4. Wind card on the route monitoring tab in the monitoring panel. Health status. Color code. If the Navi sailor does not receive sensor data or only receives incomplete information from the sensor, for example, DGPS1 will be marked orange and the sensor data will be replaced by orange symbols. Sensor alerts. A warning will be generated when a sensor that has been selected as an information source. For example, a primary or secondary position sensor delivers incorrect or incomplete data or no data at all. Validity and accuracy of sensor data. Similar to the health status, orange colored asterisk symbols will be displayed if the sensor has not passed the plausibility check.
If the sensor data does not pass the validity checks, the data is still shown, but is marked orange. Default Primary Sensor As you can see on the Ship Position page in the menu Sensors, DGPS-1 has been selected as your default primary sensor. Select Secondary Fallback Sensor. If you select, for example, DGPS-2 as your secondary sensor, it will automatically be your fallback sensor in case your primary sensor fails. The button will be highlighted after selecting. Predefined Software Hierarchy in the case of a primary sensor breakdown, a warning will inform you about a sensor fault. If, for example, DGPS2 has been selected as your secondary sensor, it will become active after a specified period for fallback sensor activation, which is configured by the manufacturer. Secondary Position Sensor If DGPS-1 is available again, it will automatically be restored as the primary sensor. After you confirm the question in the Position Source Restore in the pop-up window, DGPS-1 will be restored as the primary sensor. Types of units. On the configuration panel under Units page, you'll find drop down fields for selecting required measure units for ship and target speed, distances, precision distances, depth heights, draft, wind speed, and temperature. Switching units in an example. If you need to change the unit for measuring temperatures, go to the configuration panel and select the units page. In the drop-down field for temperature, you can select the unit. Second position sensor as fallback functionality. The secondary position source is used as a fallback function. It can be found on the ship position page on the Sensors panel. If the secondary position source is not set, there will not be an automatic switch to a backup. Position Sources You can choose between position sources that can each be used either as primary or secondary sources. DGPS-1, DGPS-2, Dead Reckoning, Estimated Position, Echo Reference, possibly to work with radar information. Note, the number of different position sources may differ from vessel to vessel. GPS is normally the standard sensor, 
and dead reckoning should only be used when GPS data is not available. Estimated position is similar to dead reckoning, but takes into account additional data on currents and drift. Echo reference needs ARPA data to constantly correct the ship's position depending on the range and bearing to stationary objects. Heading Gyro The settings of heading sources can only be done at a station with the status Master. On the heading page, you can select the heading source. To select the main source of heading, click the button. The data of the main source will be used for all calculations in the system. Gyro error. If your gyro compass is not correct, the gyro input can be corrected. Click into the text box Gyro Error and enter a value between minus 5 degrees and plus 5 degrees. Speed through water, speed over ground, log. Settings of speed sources can only be done at a station with the status Master. On the speed page, you can select a source of speed source. The group Speed Through Water Sources displays all of the connected speed through the water sensors. Speed data for speed through water are received from the log. If the log is not connected, you can enter speed through water data in the speed through water sources group manually. The group speed over ground sources displays all of the connected speed over ground sensors. The speed data course over ground speed over ground can be received from the positioning system, log and echo reference. You can enter drift and set manually. Where to find time zone settings? You can find and change settings of date and time on the time zone page of the configuration panel. Setting of current time zone. Under Current Time Zone Settings, the following options are available. 1. UTC Time, not changeable, generally obtained by Global Navigation Satellite System. 2. Ships Time, changeable, dateline will automatically be recognised. 3. Time Zone, changeable, difference west or eastwards to UTC. Time zone takeover. Please note that after changing the time zone settings, your ship's time will also change. A time zone changed notification will appear on the display. Scheduled time zone change. You can change your ship's time according to your individual schedule by entering date and time. To activate this change function, click on the radio button. The ship's time will change automatically at the specified time.
Thank you for watching the Trances, Navi Sailor 4000, Ectus Familiarization, Module Number 4. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more maritime training and education videos.